So before you get started with building your gaming PC, you of course have to make sure all of the parts you have are compatible with one another. The best way to do this I found is using PC Parts Picker. It's a website where you can just input all of the parts that you're hoping to buy, fill in any gaps if you're not sure what you want to pick up just yet, and it will tell you at the end if everything is compatible with one another. If you have any parts that aren't compatible, then your PC just won't work and you'll have a really tough time trying to build something where the pieces don't fit. Another step you want to make sure you follow before you start, which might seem obvious but isn't always the case, is make sure you have a table big enough to build the PC on. You also want to try avoid building in areas with carpeted flooring as well but since this can't always be the case as we're filming on carpet right now the easiest way to prevent static shock is by standing on a piece of cardboard which I am doing to be safe. And you can also pick up some anti-static shock wristbands. Uh, these cost six pounds for three on Amazon. A really cheap way to prevent destroying your PC which probably costs a lot more than six pounds and save yourself some hassle. So I'm just gonna get this set up now. So in order to use a anti-static wristband, which looks just like this, you wanna put the wristband part on your wrist, obviously, and then clip the clip part to something metal. The easiest way to do this is just on your PC case, but if your case is made of plastic, make sure you clip it to one of the internal metal sections of the case. Make sure the metal on the inside of the anti-static wristband is touching your skin and tighten it and keep it in place. So once you've got all of this stuff sorted, it's time to get into building the actual PC, which is a bit scary, I'll admit, but don't worry, I'm here to help. 